North Carolina has decided it's moving in a different direction. Mac Brown is going to be out as head coach of the North Carolina Tar Heels, and it's time to take a look at who's going to replace him. We have 10 candidates we'll discuss today and look at the future of Tar Heel football. Now, there's a lot of good options for North Carolina. So even though Mac Brown is headed out, there are still plenty of options that could bring hope for this program. John Summerall is going to be on a lot of lists if there are lists this year. We're kind of seeing maybe it dwindle a little bit in terms of openings, but John Summerall definitely deserves to be on these lists. He is a really good defensive mind who comes from Tulane. And right before that, he's done a great job at Tulane in his first year. He is a really good coach and someone who knows how to bring winning culture to a team. Now, this is a team in North Carolina that has had some defensive issues at times. You feel like John Summer will be able to work with that and fix those issues. You also, I think, believe that he can find the right guy to run the offense as well. So you feel pretty good about the coaching staff that he would bring with him or he would hire. He is definitely someone that's going to be really exciting for the Tar Heels if they do manage to reach out and get him. And he is someone that could definitely turn this team around. A name that is going to circulate for pretty much a lot of, of opening is Jamie Chadwell. Now, Liberty is not having the season that maybe they expected to have, but this is a team that is still a very good team. They've just been dealing with a lot of injuries this year, and it looks like right now, at least lately, they have looked like a much better team. And Jamie Chadwell's offense is unique, so at least that brings kind of a different look to North Carolina. It's also a high-powered offense. And we've seen what Jamie Chadwell can do with the right quarterback in place. You saw what he did with Grayson McCall. You're seeing what he do we, he can do with Caden Salter. So this is definitely a guy who is going to be on a lot of people's lists and someone who can do a lot of good things with North Carolina. Speaking of explosive offenses, G.J. Kinney is definitely a good candidate when it comes to that. He is someone who has plenty of ideas on how to get people to your campus you look at what he's done to texas state the transfer portal is something that he has obviously been well known for maybe not the most well known but he's definitely brought the right talent in and he knows how to coach an offense he is someone who is one of the hotter names in coaching right now and he is definitely someone that's going to bring a lot of attention to a program that he goes to north carolina is obviously looking to revive its offense in a way. They still have plenty of good options. You've seen what Amari Hampton can do, but he's obviously going to be gone, so you need to find a guy who can make the offense more explosive as a whole, and Kenny is definitely one of those guys. Now, a name that you're probably not thinking of is Bob Chesney. Now, why Bob Chesney? You look what he did at Holy Cross and James Madison. North Carolina fans are obviously very familiar with his work from the absolute beatdown they put on North Carolina. Maybe it wasn't a beatdown of the game, but that defense for North Carolina had no answer answer for James Madison. That is a guy who knows how to get his players to buy in, to play hard, and he is definitely someone who you're familiar with him. You've seen what his program looks like. He is definitely someone that they will probably contact and see the interest level and see how good of a fit he'll be. Now, a name that's kind of starting to come up, and it's a name we've talked about for a while, is Dan Mullen, currently working at ESPN, obviously still a very good offensive mind. He is someone who we've talked about in terms of we're kind of just waiting for the right job. Now, I don't know what the right job is for Dan Mullen. You would have to ask him that. But North Carolina is definitely a job I think would be attractive enough for him to at least consider. He is a great offensive mind, like I said, and he is someone who definitely has the ability to make this team what it needs to be. He would be a really fun option in Chapel Hill. Another name to keep in mind is Barry Odom. You could also consider his offensive coordinator, Brendan Marion, but I think that North Carolina for the most part, is going to be looking at more established head coaches. You may see some offensive coordinators in there, so Brennan Marion wouldn't be a surprise. Barry Odom has done a really good job at UNLV, and I think that he deserves to be in some of these interviews. I think that he definitely deserves to have a shot at a Power 4 job. He's done a really good job at UNLV. He's bringing in the right coaches. He's gotten the talent on campus to develop. He's bringing in the right players, and sometimes you just need a guy who is going to be a program builder. And replacing Mac Brown isn't going to be easy. Even though Mac Brown's had struggles, this is a guy who is beloved by a lot of people. This is a guy who a lot of people really like in the college football community. It's kind of surprising that they moved on for him, from him in a certain way, but, but also the success on the field just wasn't coming at the rate that North Carolina wanted. So you have to build a, bring a guy in that is going to build the program how you think they will. And Barry Odom is a guy who's proven that he can do that. He, you see what he's done at UNLV. This is a team that's been very successful in his short tenure with the Rebels. And he is definitely someone that deserves to be in these conversations. He's a really fun coach to, to watch because I think that he does a really good job of 
all aspects in terms of being a head coach. And I think that North Carolina is definitely going to give him a shot. Now, if you're looking for some coordinators, we'll start with Will Stein. That's a name that's going to be thrown around for a while. You look at what Oregon has done. He is a big reason for it. Obviously, Dan Lanning is the mastermind behind everything, but Will Stein's brilliant offensive mind deserves a lot of love, and he is going to be on a lot of these lists. He is someone who's going to be looking potentially at head coaching opportunities in the future and someone who definitely deserves those opportunities. He's a really good, like I said, offensive mind, a really good play caller, and that's something he can bring to North Carolina. Obviously, he's going to have to look at who is he going to bring to call plays, but he's still going to have an influence over that. He's still going to work with whoever that guy is and make sure that he has the right plays and set has the right game plan in, in, in play. And that's something that's going to be really helpful. Again, North Carolina, you kind of feel disappointed outside of maybe a Warren Hampton and, and, you know, some, some blips here or there. So the offense is definitely something you'd like to see improve. And Will Stein can definitely do that. Now the last three are kind of a little bit different and a name that you're not seeing as much it is Justin Wilcox and Justin Wilcox deserves to be in these conversations for a lot of reasons. When you look at the challenges that Cal has over other schools, the academic reasons are going to be a big one. The talent that you could bring to Cal is not even close to the talent you can bring to North Carolina. And he has done an incredible job of bringing them the ball eligibility and finding ways to win football games. It's clear that he can develop the talent that he brings to campus He's a good identifier of talent in the transfer portal, and he knows exactly what he's looking for to help his team win. Throw on top of that, that he's a really good defensive mind that would help a North Carolina defense that definitely needs to improve. And you're feeling like that's a actually a good combination. Now, he's probably not the most ideal fit for a lot of people. When they think North Carolina football, they probably don't think Justin Wilcox, but he deserves a lot of love with the amount of restrictions that he has to be able to win the number of games that they have and develop the talent. And just, Dane Knott is one of the best running backs in college football. And technically, this is an inter-ACC move, but Justin Wilcox deserves a lot of credit for what he's done, and he's definitely going to get opportunities. I don't see why North Carolina wouldn't at least consider him for their new opening. Another name that you see is Andy Koltenicki. He's one of the most popular names in coaching searches right now. His work at Penn State obviously has been pretty good so far. I think that maybe his viability as a head coach might need to wait a little bit. I think that we've seen Penn State slow down a little bit in terms of, I think a lot of Koltenicki's excitement was the hype surrounding his offense. It's going to take some time for Penn State to truly gel. I mean, they're doing a really good job, but right now you kind of feel like it's the Tyler Warren show and maybe you don't have necessarily all the other pieces, uh, but he's going to get an opportunity to showcase what he can do. Uh, he might get a head coaching job this cycle. He might have to wait another year. We don't really know, but I think that he is definitely a name you're going to see. I don't necessarily know if he's a top candidate for this job, but he is definitely someone who I'd see North Carolina at least reaching out, engaging his interests. Last one, we always go, or at least try to go with someone that's kind of out there. And we're going to bring back a former North Carolina tire heel in TJ Yates. Currently the quarterback coach for the Atlanta Falcons, someone who has ties to the program, someone who could definitely be looking for maybe a head coaching position. I mean, that NFL experience is definitely going to be a plus for him as well. Be able to show players, hey, I know what it takes to get to this level. I know what it takes to coach at this level. And that's definitely something that could be appealing. All I know is that the North Carolina Tar Heels search is going to be a good one. There are going to be a lot of names that are probably interested in this job. And it's going to be fun to see which one of them is actually going to take over this program.